Bambi. Get out of the way. Sorry, Bambi. Doing it for the team, mate. Oh. God, didn't he react? He's doing really well. I, I, I can't fire. Bambi, you're still in the way. Oh. I, I hit his antler. His antler contained blood vessels. Bambi's down. Howdy, partners. I'm the fan with no name, and I'm not going to talk in that voice because this would make the episode unbearable for me and for you. Hello, and welcome back to uh, Red Dead Redemption. We are in Blackwater, the town, the town with the western touch, but you mustn't touch. Yes, so... If you've been following uh, the episodes, last time we were on the top of a mountain, a snowing mountain, and we failed the mission. But in the intervening time, things have changed around here. You might notice that John Marston is now dressed quite accordingly. He's got an eye patch on, he's got his trusty steed warhorse. He's had a few adventures off screen, so I figured it was time to get back in the saddle. <laughs> <laughs> and continue with our mission. So, uh, I'm going to go and see what the government have to do, because we did the mission for McDeagle, and, uh, yeah, it was quite fun. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. Right, so uh, we're we're in a uh, a mission now. We're in town, so it's quite a change from going up to those scary mountains. But I'm all for this now. We're going to get some snipper rifles and uh, oh, 90 bullets. Christ, how long is this going to take? So cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Why would you shoot the horses? Until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. I got this bank. Okay, I'm looking at the bank door. Don't shoot. Can we use dynamite? Tomahawks? Knives? Shotguns? Fists? Lassoes? No. I have to use the sniper rifle. Okay, one dead, two dead, three uh, injured. Oh no, just gonna have a little sleep. Who's shooting at us? Oh, they're in the windows. Are they in the windows? I don't know. I'm getting shot from somewhere. Check the bank windows. Oh, okay, I'm looking. I can barely make out the shape of someone. I'll just shoot, hoping it's not a bank teller or an innocent bank woman. Because that would not go down well with the non-existent media. Any media that exists in the world of Red Dead Redemption are newspapers, and there's few of those. Someone's scuffing out the front. Oh, you're making it run for it, son. I've got an answer for that. Oh, I shot your hat off. Oh, it's like, where's my, where's my hat gone? Tell you where your hat's gone, mate. You've gone to hat hell, and you've gone to person hell. Okay, there's one guy down there. Oh, I could have got two at one. Where are you going, son? You're dead. It's like the end of Saving Private Ryan. Or any part of Saving Private Ryan. But mostly the end, because the guy on the rooftop, he says he says things like, uh, With the Lord of my witness, I will go endeavour into the shadow of death while I walk through the valley in the darkness. And then he shoots the German face off. This is kind of what we're doing here. Um, but with Indians. So, again, not a good day for minorities. Hey kids, not cool. Shoot his hat off before he comes up. 
Or not. Sorry. Saving for your hat. Marston, head into the bank with Hopkins and Manning. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them. Right, we're going close quarters, lads. So I'm going to go for my old close quarters favourite, which is the high power pistol. Fires off a plenty of rounds and makes me feel good on the inside. Shoot the, lock. Shoot the doors open. Shoot the doors open. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get surrounded. So there's a guy coming up through there. Clamor. Well, that's like max pain, isn't it? Or the Matrix, or any slow motion gun fight in any game or film. Oh god, there's a guy in there. Do you think I can sneak him through here? I think I can. Nope, that was a bank clerk. That would have not done well for the mission. So I'm just John Master now. I've got nothing to fear. I'm going to be all cool about it. Cool as cucumber. You're going to shoot that woman? I'm going to shoot you in the face. Get out of here, you scummers. Come on, let's check out upstairs. We just loot the bank while we're here? No? Okay, fine. I ain't getting fresh. Uh, John Marston's been a bit lucrative since we last saw him. Uh, he's earned a little bit of money. Uh, okay, so we've got one guy there. He's dead, son. Dead. One more. You. You get the whole kit and caboodle. There's one down there. Hat off. Disarm. Shot. That's how we do things in the world of Red Dead 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 not really. Father figure, I suppose, is the more appropriate term. But uh, as, as Red Dead Redemption's story goes, the uh, family aspect and the fa father figures and all this rubbish. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. John Marston, what are you doing? He's got a nice gold-plated piece there, though. Hold it sideways, John. That would make you look even cool. Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. Why don't you just use dead eye? Of course. Of course. I surrender, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. Suddenly we've come into Star Wars territory. Mistakes, John. When we last met, I was with the apprentice. Now I am the master. I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family. I think she dies. I honestly don't remember. I think it's quite brutal. It's a nice day outside, though. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. Oh, this is so uncomfortable. This man here? Oh, he married a whore. Who cares? Who cares about what John Marston did, for God's sake? Just... We all had her. I don't, I honestly do not think that the government you know that care man? about John Marston's past. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Oh, they did it. The game went there. The game went there. I don't see him. What the hell happened? Sorry, I couldn't save you. I'll just take your personal six dollars. What a waste of time that was. Oh, I'm gonna get to War Horse. We're on chase mode after Dutch Vandalin with his name and stuff. Come on, War Horse. Dun 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 Get on the horse. This is about the sixth War Horse, so I've got through quite a few as well. So don't mind, I just kill one and I just get another one with the horse deed. Oh, here we go, classic Western stuff. This is the best. Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escape. How many have we got? Six, seven, eight. Eight of us against Dutch Vanderlyn and his army of lost boys. We can do this. Logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Ah. I believe that's Bear Claw Camp. You know what Bear Claw Camp is famous for? So 
Raccoons. At least it was until all the bears wiped them out. Now it's just called Bear Claw Camp because of all the bears. And uh, I can tell you now, you don't want to bring a knife or any gun to a bear fight because the bear brings a bear to the bear fight. And, you know, according to Leonardo DiCaprio at least, you're going to get messed up some. It's a lovely, lovely view over the Great Plains, isn't it? I do love this part of the world. It is my favourite part. It's just so atmospheric. Uh, at night. Uh, and just generally any time. Yes. Right, okay. I want to ride in front, please. I'm John Mast and I'm the best. Heavens above, he set something on fire. Why did he bring a car? That makes no sense. This game makes no sense. Oh, there's a logging camp down there. Hmm, I should go and explore that later. Head into the forest. That was meant to be the song from Legend of Zelda. Uh, I, I actually forgot it. How does it go? The Lost Woods theme. Come on, guys. Tell me the Lost Woods theme. It goes... Yes, there we go. Legend of Zelda. Classic games. Uh, but we're not playing Zelda, are we? We're playing Red Dead Redemption. We're currently being shot at quite a few times. I'm going to hit up the old medicine so I do not die. I don't want that. Uh, okay, so the guy through there. Oops. They all look the same. Like, they're all cloned or something. You know, like, uh, again. Uh, Uncharted! Uncharted 3. The villains aren't sort of demographic. The villains aren't... Um, ethnic minorities, they're all just blokes in suits, and it's like kind of the Matrix, but a sort of a more pathetic version of the Matrix, if there's even such a thing. Uh, I mean, the first Matrix is kick ass, uh, but the uh, sequels, which I have seen, uh, are a little bit, yeah. but I guess it's no one's fault. I mean, the film was successful, they were like, give us more of that, uh, which is the story with any successful film. Uh, if it makes money, they want more of it. If it makes no money, they don't want anything to do with it. Uh, as is sort of a, a bit of a bit of a um, current event, guys, in the world of filmmaking. Uh, a lot of franchises have come out. A lot of franchises have come out this year. Things like um, Transformers 5 and Pirates Caribbean 5, I think, uh, and things like that. And they've just not made any money. So I guess people are just sort of bored. Bored of all the money-making franchises, uh, of which I am one of them. The first Transformers film was really good, uh, mostly because of Steven Spielberg's involvement. Then they went slowly downhill. I'll put a bullet in them. Don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it. I just sort of zoned out. Then I'm pretty sure I was sort of shooting down all these people. And I don't remember doing it. It's pretty sick. John Marston is a pure and simple psychopath. So he's going to leave me here. Okay. Right, we're back. Uh, sorry about the beginning of the episode. I did not check my mic setup. And as a top tip to anyone out there who wishes to make this sort of stuff, always check what you're doing. It makes you look like an idiot. Thankfully, the episode was saved and I didn't have to go back and replay that mission. Because if I had to do that, I'd probably scream. So. We're just going to uh, make our way back into the town of Blackwater and uh, and see what we can find. Uh, I have been doing off camera the uh, side missions to try and just sort of build up a little bit of um, money, a little bit of uh, extra weapons. Again, I forgot that if you do the uh, gang hideouts, that's how you unlock the different weapons. So I thought it made more sense if I'm getting into the uh, bulk of the main game. Uh, I should be taking uh, all my important weapons along. Or more powerful weapons. Uh, but nonetheless, we're here now. We did all the treasure hunting side stuff. That gave me a load of cash. And I've just been hunting like a... Well, just like any American should. Or, or any sort of conservative British person might enjoy doing. Which is not cool. Alright. Note to self. Sense of those last words. Right, so we're going to go and look, uh, let's go and pop into the, let's go into the gunsmith, because I know for a fact he had some guns, and I feel like buying some. Hello, gunsmith, I'm going to chat to you. Right, so what you got, oh, the Mauser pistol is tempting, uh, but I probably am going to have to get the Carcano rifle, only because it's a, um, legendary weapon or a special weapon, but it is a more improved sniper rifle. Am I going to really be needing that for the rest of the game? Hmm. I've also got all this stuff I need to get around to selling. 
but I need to check up online uh, on the official Red Dead Redemption Wikipedia page what the best prices are because if you buy or you um, hunt stuff in one area of the world it's more valuable in the other area of the world uh, which sort of gives you gives it an edge I think there's not like you can just spam selling uh, so there's, there's different sort of elements to it uh, right I have completely lost track of time because I've had to chop the episode into two because of the stupid microphone situation again seriously kids if you want to do this for a living Make sure you check your microphone set up. Okay. I don't know if I want to do another mission, though. Oh, look, a bounty's appeared. I think we'll try and finish the episode with a bounty. Because uh, I'm doing that for you guys. I'm doing it for you, my dear partners, my buckaroos. You guys who watch these videos, you make me happy. You guys who leave comments, you make me happy. I don't necessarily read the nasty comments, but you make me happy. And again, 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 we are pushing, guys. We are pushing to hit those 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers for the adventures of the fan with no name. John Marston and Warhorse. And this man who seems to be just hammering a barrel for no reason whatsoever. Please, do it for him. Do it for old Hammer Barrel. Oh, he's banging a nail into it. Guys, he needs 100 subscribers. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because every day at 6 o'clock, you will find a new video on this channel, the home of the Wild West on YouTube. Mostly it's film uh, reviews on Fridays. You get video game playthroughs during the week. Uh, so yeah, don't forget, you can hit to subscribe, hit to like, blah, blah, blah. Share it with your friends, share it with the world. Anyway, enough pandering. We are off to Tanner's Reach for our next bounty. And as I realized in my offline, uh, offline, off camera i guess off camera playthroughs the bounties as they get um more uh lucrative are harder to get away from i was doing a few down in mexico i was doing a few down in mexico you know the other day and uh it just occurred to me that these guys do not want me to nick their leader uh it took me about five attempts to get the bloody man on the back of the horse before they started to run me down with their blah blah blahs and shooty bang bangs so sometimes you've got to even out the, uh, is it worth it getting them alive or dead? See, this bloke, if I get him alive, then it's $600. And if I get him dead, it's $300. It's easier to get them, it's easier to get them dead, uh, but it's also more lucrative to get them alive. So we'll see how this one pans out, and, and then we'll just go from there. But um, it's been a blast, honestly. I mean, this is like, what, the third time I've played through this game for any reason, and... Um, it's just astonishing. I mean, a lot when you play it sort of in quick successions like I've been doing, you do notice a lot of things with it. Like, I wouldn't say that the missions are terrible, but you start to notice how a lot of the missions sort of more or less do the same thing. Um, you know, it's only ever going to be a variation of ride here or shoot this or do that. I mean, video games are, are in their very nature, that limited sort of design. Um... But that said, you know, if anything, it's just reminded me how much I love this world. I mean, westerns, if you didn't believe it already, westerns are my forte, or my sort of interest. Uh, so to revisit this world before Red Dead Redemption 2 came out was going to be the actual most important thing in my life. Anyway, enough of that. We are at the Bounty Hunters location. Uh, so there's normally some goons patrolling around the outskirts. If we just play it safe. Get the old snipper rifle out. Have a quick look. See. Uh, okay, there's a bloke there. Two blokes there. Three, four. We get them all. What I can't. Mm, it's a one-shot sniper. I really should have bought that other sniper rifle. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, I could do dynamite. Ooh. No, no. Oh, oh, Bambi. <laughs> get out of the way. Sorry, Bambi. Doing it for the teammate. Oh, guy didn't even react. He's doing really well. I, I I can't fire. Bambi, you're still in the way. Oh, I I hit his antler. His antler contained blood vessels. Bambi's down. Anyway, these guys are gonna run all down here in a nice funnel. Oh, it's very very thoughtful of them. Uh, okay, there's someone coming up right close to me. Right there. Okay. There's a few more guys down. I'm on my horse still, so that gives me an advantage in a way. Guys up there. Oh, we're going to... Right, now we have a very small amount of time to get this bloke in alive. 
He's in there still. Where is he? You're there. Nope. Okay. Three shots and I'm dead. Hmm. I don't remember the game being this frustrating. We are back and we respawned at our nice little log cabin up at Manzanita Post, I think this place is called. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We gotta go get that bounce. Oh, for God's sake, that woman keeps moaning about her bloody wagon. I've tried like three times to get it and every time I die. Like I said, I seem to be uh, dying quite easily. Maybe it's my skill. Ha! Don't think that's the case. But John Marston doesn't seem to be very resilient when he gets to being shot. So with this one, I'm going to try a little bit more heads. Well, mm, if you try heads on, I think sniper's a smarter route. No. I'll tell you what, we'll try heads on. If I don't do it this time, then I'm just going to call it a day. Okay, so there's a guy there. One paint you, and you, and you. Okay. Guys there. Alright, some guys on the outskirts. No, it's the... Okay, so what I'm going to do... If he's inside, where is he? Where are you? I don't know. I, I am running out of dead eye. This isn't good. Right, we're going to circle back around and come through again. Ride this man down. Ah, there you go. That's what it's all about. Right, okay, I'm getting shot. That's not good. Okay, so that guy's dead. Alright, we're going to have to keep circling around. Come on, Warhorse. Oh, flipping heck. Give me that medicine. I'm going to circle back round and come at them again. Oh, yeah. Like the damn busters, but with horses and cowboys and going to reload and get stuck on this rock. Did I kill him? Oh, I killed him. Ugh, that's frustrating. They call a grave. Ah, attention to detail. Spot on. So I guess I only get $300 for him, but that ain't a problem. Uh, I'm going to take him back to Blackwater Jail. Uh, I think, I don't know. I think Tanner's Reach you can buy. Maybe you can't, because you'd be able to buy it. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, we're on a hot uh, escape from the bounty hunter while his uh, friend try and charge us down. And they are relentless. Like I said, they are probably going to come up pretty fast or disappear completely from the minimap. That too is also pretty good. Let's take a shortcut down here. Lovely, lovely jubbly. I like sometimes your horse can go off the sides and sometimes it can't. It's quite... It feels quite natural when you try and push him over the edge like anyone would in real life. Trying to force a horse off a cliff. Uh, not easy, I'm sure. Okay, so there's some guys there. There's a stagecoach. Mind the innocent people. Try and keep Warhorse from uh, getting irritated by me trying to run him into the ground like any decent cowboy would. But what is, well, I think those guys did a little bunny hop. I think they were spawned in quite violently by the game. The uh, cruel game master above who who makes the rules. Who wins and who dies in the game of Red Dead Redemption. It also reminds me that Game of Thrones is back. And I need Game of Thrones back in my life. And those guys are catching up with me. And that is what we call a perfect image. The sunset. The horses. The... Angry men wearing little red hats. Oh, look at that. That's a thumbnail. Brilliant. Go on, Warhorse. We're nearly there. And then it's time for bed. I think. And then John Marston returned to Blackwater with the proof of the bounty that he just killed. And he'll get $300 for it. Which, yeah, to be fair, isn't, isn't that bad. But it could be a lot better. It could have been $600, but I accidentally killed the man. Which, you know, just the way it's got to be. And I'm going to charge in here with a raid of knots and hopefully not run that guy down. Just skid in there, Warhorse. You beautiful son of a horse. $300. Oh, so close to 6,000 smackers. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. So, so sorry for the audio issues at the beginning of the episode. Like I said, do check your microphone inputs. And I will always remind you guys to hit the subscribe button. And make sure you hit the like button. And if you can leave a comment down below and tell me what you think, I will be much obliged. 
But now we're going to leave it here with this actual perfect image of John riding up into the sunset. I will bid you, dear viewer, dear buckaroo, until next time, happy trails.